and welcome to today's video. Today I will show you how I edit two photos into one. So the reason why I'm doing this is, this is because the girl is slightly out of focus in the first photo. So I really like how the horse is and how her hands are. So I will be using her head from the second photo and adding that to the first. So now I've just moved over to Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop CS5. And now I'm marking the, the area around her head, copying it and moving it to the first photo. So now I'm aligning her head and making sure that it uh, fits nicely uh, and is not in a weird place. To remove the borders so that it looks all smooth and it doesn't look like I've just added a head on top of another. Now that I'm uh, satisfied with that, I am going to remove the reins. So I'm starting up at the neck. And as you can see, I like to switch the places where I clone from quite often so that it looks more natural because if you only use one side constantly one can easily see that it is cloned. Around the neck area I'm using a smaller brush to clone. Taking photos at large f-stops uh, and then trying to edit them using small brushes to clone the background. You can really, it's quite obvious that you've done it. So here I've firstly, uh, and so here I've switched to a larger brush so that it looks more natural and right. The tricky part is to remove the reins near the bit and the bit of the bridle that is sticking out and taking quite a lot of attention. Firstly though, I am trying to uh, remove some part of the background which is quite uh, annoying. see me using a large brush to remove the main part of the bridle. Now I'm switching to a harder brush so that the edges seem like they're supposed to be there. I'm using the same brush also when I'm trying to remove part of the bridle. I'm against that. So now I'm using a softer brush around the edges and now I'm going back to still trying to remove most of the edges and now I'm going back to the hard brush to make the thing to remove the parts that close to the hook. As you can see you can really see it so I'm now using the history tool make it look like there is actually a little bit of the leather of the noseband going around the horse. Now I'm going back to a large soft brush to make it more match to look like the background as chopped off. comes the very tricky part uh, and that is to clone the bit 
thing so that it does actually look like a circle. Mine often get a pointed end at some point, so I spend quite a lot of time editing the bit. So, but this is where I'm taking, cloning different parts of the, uh, the bit at all times, trying to mimic how the bit looks around the rest of the, the, rest of the way. As you can see now, I'm quite pleased with how the bed looks. I like to zoom out uh, a lot so to see if there's any weirdness in the photo. And now I am trying lightening up the eye using the dodge tool. I thought it was a little bit much and then used the history tool to remove and to go back a little. Now I'm just adding my watermark, making it uh, white so that it's easy to see and changing the date. So for August 2016. Then I am making the uh, text layers un invisible, invisible and merging the whole of the photo. That's it for today, I hope you enjoyed it, here you are seeing a little comparison shot of the before and after of the two photos, and yeah, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time, bye!